Hello everybody, welcome back to more of Pokemon Fire Red. It's been a while, but last time we went to Silphco, defeated Giovanni and our rival Blue, and now we have access to the gyms. Yeah, that's right, gyms plural. This over here is the fighting dojo. It's not required, but you can go into it for like some extra experience, and that's exactly what we're gonna do because, well, you do get a very good reward at the end of the fighting dojo. As always, what you'd expect from a fighting dojo, there's a lot of fighting type Pokemon, and I don't know why I have Bulbapedia in front, but we can get him ex some experience anyways, because it's just the Machop. He could probably just Razor Leaf it. He can't. Okay. While I was gone, uh, through a couple of days, uh, I was on a trip, and then I also was very sick on that trip, but we got over it. It was very miserable for me. I was supposed to go and explore this town, and then I just didn't really get to explore that town because I was in the hotel trying to recover the entire time. So it wasn't that good of a trip, but I did go. I did go see a little bit. I saw an antique shop. Uh, I'm really into antique shops. Uh, not something you'd expect a person my age to to like, but I'm. I, li I just like looking at like vinyls and those vintage metal signs. I have a huge collection of them what I like to do. And also, it's just a lot of history in those places. And just a lot of, like, history of the culture. I don't know. I find it very intriguing. Uh, you could go over there and fight both of them, but me personally, I'm just gonna fight two of them. Because you also got that guy up there with the two Pokeballs, if you couldn't see that, but... Yeah. I'm just gonna send out a Mankey. Assuming that you have two Pokemon, you hope you... Hopefully, you have a Primate. I'm, I'm just hoping. Oh, you couldn't one-shot a Mankey. Are you kidding me, Bulbapedia? Well, let's get him down this time. Get a little, get a little behind. I, I don't know what the levels are actually. I, I believe you're the highest level now, 39. 39 from Bulbapedia. We're almost getting to the 40s, which is crazy. Uh, nope. Be Oh, and Hot Dog. Uh, I guess we can go for Dig Dug. I I feel very controversial about Dig Dug because I, I'm i in that in-between where I don't know if Magnitude or Dig is better, but I keep going for Magnitude. I'm going to keep going for Magnitude just because in case I get Magnitude 10. See, this is why I keep trying to use Magnitude because I want that high damage roll. But also, at the same time, like, lately, I've just haven't been getting those high damage rolls, I guess. See, magnitude not- well, I mean, I come back and then this is what it is. Okay. Wow. Oh! Uh, okay. Doesn't matter, we can just slash him down. 988. Not to level 39, though. I give up. Man. Okay, so, I, yeah, we should probably put in Firo. Our lovely beat. And on this guy, what do we... I don't even have to come talk to you. Grunt! I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Wow. Alright, so after challenging this guy, you can get some... Rewards. I'm not going to say what they are yet. He's going to send out a Hitmonlee. But we have our flying type. You're level 37. That's actually higher than I expected. We're going to Aerial Ace to see how much that does. Not going to kill you. Oh. Okay, I guess it is. I may have underestimated you. Hitmonchan. That's what I'm actually worried about. I think I'm going to fly here because you're more defensively geared than Hitmonlee. Oops. Well. Nothing I can do about that. Fly, can it take it out? Yes, there we go. Beak's gonna get to level 40. I don't want to call it too early, but he is. Yep. Our first level 40 member. And is gonna try and learn Drill Peck. Let's see. I, I'm, I really don't know about this, because I know I, there's a lot of flying-type moves, but I feel like there's a reason for all of them. 
Every release in, ca in case my accuracy gets lowered down too much, fly if I want to stall, and drill peck just for a main method of damage. So I, I think we're going to go with Fury Attack. We're going to keep Pursuit, even though I don't see a lot of switch-ins, but... Yeah. Ah! Beaten. Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. For defeating the fighting dojo, we get two choices out of Pokemon. Hitmonlee is the more offensive geared towards the two. Less defense for more attack. It gets great use out of its attack stat, as most of its moves learned are physical and can create a solid moveset out of it. It's got moderate speed to back it up and can pack a punch if you're looking for a hard hitter on the team. I would definitely recommend this over the other Pokemon, which is Hitmonchan, which is the more defensive one of the two. In this specific version in Gen 3, it isn't as powerful as it could be with a lot of its moves being special. The elemental punches, thunder, fire, and ice punch are all considered special. It's not until Gen 4 that this Pokemon gets really good with the physical special split. If you still want to rock with this, I recommend getting Iron Fist for its ability, then running Mega Punch, Sky Replica, a rock type move, and whatever the fourth move you want to be. While this isn't going to be a member of my team, I'm going to pick Hitmonlee, just so I could have it. And no, we're not going to give a nickname to it. And what? I can, I can still challenge you guys. Ooh, I can still challenge you. Uh, we will be right back. Dig Dug is going to go to level 39, get him some experience up there. And you're going to have a Mankey. Might as well just send in Blitz and Blam so we can get him to level 39. Puts in BAM. I keep saying blame. It's such a it's such a tongue twister. I don't know why I keep saying it. Anyway, we'll, we'll be right back. Oh, just barely. How much is that? Like two experience? I, I don't even want to look. Now that we're done with the fighting dojo, I think it's time we take on the actual gym. And let me just say this gym is a pain. I'm definitely gonna be skipping this. We'll be right back. Alright, we got Blitz and Bam up to level 39. Just as we wanted. Hot Dog grows to level 40, which is very good, We're getting a lot of, sh a lot stronger. And that is the easiest way to this gym. I defeated all the trainers off screen and got 39, 40, 39, 39, 40. Um, who do I want to lead out with? I'm going to lead out with Hot Dog. Yeah. Alright. I had a vision of your arrival. I knew you were coming up as well. I've had psychic power since I was a child. It started when I was a, when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I just like battling, but if you wish, I will show you a fight. Has it ever occurred in your mind that that spoon bent because you threw it too hard or it hit a corner when it landed? I... I mean, I could probably make a, a spoon bend, but anyways, this is Leader Sabrina with four Pokemon. The reason why I held her off last was because dealing with Psychic Types this early on at level 43 with that level gap is terrible. Kadabra is level 38 Psychic Type synchronized for its ability with Psybeam, Reflect, Future Sight, and Calm Mind. Basically, with all of her Pokemon, do not let these things set up. If they do, they will annihilate you. And we got a, we got a Bite Flinch. You're gonna use your Hyper Potion on your Kadabra, that's great. I'd rather have you use it on Kadabra than anybody else because I outspeed you, and I have a st uh, type effective move. Do doesn't need to matter about the flinch. I think we'll Flame Wheel here. You're not gonna use another potion. And one Pokemon down already. Alright, let's see. Who are you sending out next? Mr. Mime. Okay. Mr. Mime is gonna be level 37 with Soundproof Psychic type. Uh, soundproof for stability, psychic type, barrier, side beam, baton pass, and calm mind. Do not let this thing set up. If it does with its calm minds, it will baton pass to her ace Pokemon, and you do not want that happening. It's gonna set up a barrier. Okay, I don't believe that does not affect bite this early on. So, yep, there we go. That was very unfortunate that you set up a, a, a barrier. So instead of a calm mind. And your next Pokemon is Venomoth, of all Pokemon. 
Despite being a psychic type gym, she has a level 38 Venomoth, Bug Poison with Shield Dust for its ability, Psybeam, Gust, Leech Life, and Supersonic. Yeah, I, I don't know. Ooh, you could easily just put a Hypno on her team and that would have fit, but I guess not. That is gonna do- are you kidding me? Do not let this confusion be my downfall. Ooh, you're gonna use a Hyper Potion on your Venomoth. That's good. That's good, though. I did not see it coming, so hopefully we don't hit ourselves in confusion. After I quite literally just made fun of you for being on Sabrina's team, do not take me out. Flame Wheel should take it out unless we hit ourselves. Oh! Hot oh, dog, you were doing so good. Another Psy Beam from her. There we go. And Venomoth is down. Going a lot smoother than I expected. I mean, way more smoother than I expected. 123, and I think we should go for the hot dog sweep. It's... Her Alakazam is level 43. Psychic type synchronized for its ability with Psychic, Recover, Future Sight, and Calm Mind. We could... Oh! Okay, so knowing that you outspeed me, that is a little bit scary. Oh, let's go for a takedown. Nope, it's not the kill. Okay. Well, we can't have everything. I... <laughs> Two health critical hit is crazy. We can't have everything. Alright, who do I want to send in there? Let's go with Blitz and Bam. This is a, this is a little scary. Oh. That's the result of ace spamming again. I do outspeed you, but I am fragile. Oh! Critical! Doesn't even matter if I'm fragile. A little 40 for Blitz and Bam. Getting in that 40 zone as well. And the leader just Sabrina is gone. This loss shocks me, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the Marsh Badge. Man, my... My team is coming in clutch. Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, please take this TM with you. I believe this is TM04 Calm Mind. Oh, Psychic Power. Oh, oh, she's just saying stuff. Everyone has Psychic Power. People just don't... Thank you for not explaining the TM. I really wanted you to. I believe it's Calm Mind. Yes, this raises special attack... And special defense, a really good bu uh, buffing move if you want to use it on any uh, specially geared Pokemon. Whew, that gym went a lot better than I expected. I expected uh, Hot Dog to go down a lot earlier, but this is the reason why you should not underestimate your team. Uh, shoot. Uh, I believe it's down here. I have not memorized this gym, and I do not care to memorize it. Well, with that out of the way, we are going to finally fully explore Fuchsia City, because despite me thrown under the bus a little bit earlier, uh, there's actually a lot to do there and some required things in order for story progression. So next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we head on back over there and finally get uh, our sixth team member that I wanted to get way back in that one episode because yeah, I don't know why I didn't get it. See you guys then.